Today I'm going to make the case why you should be looking at the Shure SM58 with an audio recorder before you even consider buying an on-camera microphone. I started making videos at the height of the DSLR revolution. One thing that we all had in common back then was our visuals were okay because, you know, bokeh. Audio was a pile of hot garbage. We all should have taken a page out of Casey Neistat's book and recorded our voiceovers after the fact. One of the biggest duh moments for me as a filmmaker was realizing that I didn't need to be recording any of my voiceovers or talking head moments as actual video talking heads. I create that space for people because it's not a privilege, it's a right. It was important for me to hopefully give a voice to those who might not have a voice for themselves in regards to clean water or freedom. We're in this together, it's not me versus who's in front of me, it's like how can we play a role in seeing each other? How can I learn something from a student that's here? Finding community, creating spaces where we can come together and feel connected. And the best way that I know how to serve and to create community is to hold space for others. This gave me the freedom to craft stories and narratives that weren't limited to what I could capture using my on-camera microphone. I could use something like the Shure SM58 in a portable handheld recorder to get way cleaner vocals. Buying an on-camera microphone is the cheap tripod tax solution of the audio world. Let me explain. When you have that on-camera mic, it sounds great when you're talking directly to it right there. But as soon as you have to get your camera a little bit further away, you realize its shortcomings very quickly. And you're immediately back on Amazon trying to buy a lav mic or a boom or something to be able to get your mic significantly closer to your subject. Most people view the SM58 as that handheld mic that their favorite rock stars use when performing on their you know, worldwide tours. But I found out kind of the hard way, the versatility of the SM58. When my Rode NTG5 was out for repair, I used it to shoot a video in my kitchen and I was actually very impressed with how well the audio sounded, even though it was technically not, you know, handheld right up against my face. In fact, this section of the video is actually being recorded using the SM58. So I guess you be the judge and tell me if it actually like fits the bill. I mean, it's about, what, six, seven inches away from my face? I think that's still perfectly usable in a situation where you need to boom it just out of frame. The last point on this is durability and cost. At $100, the SM58 is gonna be your best bang for the buck microphone. You pair that with a Tascam DR40X or a Zoom H4N Pro, and you've got a like sub $500 audio kit that will last you basically your entire career even if you're not careful with it. While having good audio isn't gonna make you a master storyteller overnight, it's one tool in your toolkit that will allow you to clearly communicate all of the stories that you have to tell. Thanks for watching.